Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Tech Online News with Alan Billings. Yes, I am Alan Billings, host of Let's Talk Tech Online News. Today I am talking about Google Music. Uh, you go there right now, music.google.com. Now, uh, there was a, what would you call it, a seminar, a meeting about that Google had uh, about Google Music because it was in beta for some time. And I had been, I was following on the beta for a while until I finally just said, yeah, I give it up because I didn't really see it as useful. And at this point, I'm still looking through it and I still don't see it as completely useful to everyone as it's going to help out a lot of people, as you will find out. So, if we're taking a look, quick look at the homepage, we obviously have Cheap Trick. Now, a lot of these, actually, they're not even part of me they're not even part of my stuff there are a lot a lot of it's all recommended rooms for squares i by john mayer i've listened to one thing of his so it automatically recommends some stuff uh yes never too late is in my and then uh three is grace yeah that's all stuff i've listened to and then there's a recommended thing at the bottom here recommended in the android market so you could buy these when you buy them, you basically buy them off the Android market. If you have an Android device or not, it does not matter. You're buying it from the Android market. That's how it's going out. So, and let's head over to uh, the thumbs up. Can you see it? Yes, you can. So there is, obviously there's songs here. It's the same thing as just most music places where you go and you say, okay, these are all the ones that I've given a thumb up. And just like anyone, just like Pandora and... Um, Spotify and all those you just give the music up if you like it or not then there's the last added which is all these are the ones that apparently I've added I don't remember that I've added some of these or a lot of that remember that I've added but apparently it's recommending these then there's also the free there's free music and purchased so these are uh, certain things are so songs that I purchased but some of them are also free music also recognize that the thumbs up are still here and you don't really see the thumbs up unless it either is a thumb up or you're over the actual thing otherwise it will show up uh, as a, just a blank box it also shows the number of plays how many times you've listened to the song also that's probably going to go based on their popularity and say oh yeah you probably want to listen to this song more and as always you can always uh, flip through and you can always tell it to listen to multiple songs instead of just going in order you will also notice that there is also the playlist, so you obviously have your playlist. That would be uh, completely insane if you didn't have a playlist. You can create a new playlist, and uh, you know I have Cheap Trick on there. I just I just have a couple of them on there just uh, so I can do this tutorial here because I'm not a big, like I said before, I'm not huge on the whole uh, Google Music thing. But uh, something that is very impressive, uh, I must say, is that you can upload your music from your iPod. I don't see I'm rather confused on the fact that it's saying you can upload your music but yeah it's giving you all these songs for free but at the same time they want you to buy songs so I don't know what songs are free and what songs don't cost any money I'm rather confused on that uh, but Google did say they're like oh we're gonna we're gonna keep it free for now but at the same time you can buy songs so I don't know if you once you buy the songs you own those songs I, I figure that's how it works, but I don't know if you can then go ahead and then download those songs because they're going to be on all your Android devices. This, uh, it's Google Music is basically works in the cloud. So once all once you once you buy the song, it should be in your potentially should be in any of your Android devices. But I am not exactly sure how that works. Now uh, I showed you. I believe I have already showed you. I've already showed you the songs. And you can also search by artist. There's nothing uh, special about any of this in any way that you can do any of that. Like I said, you could do the upload music. You could, and then, well, there. This is actually uh, pretty cool. You could download the music manager, which um, what it will do is you once you download it to your system, every time you upload a song, every time you download a song, you can go and it will automatically upload the music to your to the to the uh, Google Music to music.google.com to the cloud so that's pretty cool but at the same time it's like well do I really want all my music going up there all at the same time so I don't know I don't know I, I would I would say normally I would say yes you want to you want your music to go everyone wants their all their music going up there but certain people may not want uh, certain music to go up on the cloud and again you can always do the thumbs up thumbs down thing so I don't see why not 
But yes, it will all uh, what down. I think it uh, no, it does work. It works for Macs and works for PC. I do not know about Linux, so uh, Ubuntu and stuff. I don't know if it works for that. It should work because Google's mostly open source, so it should be able to be downloaded for that. But uh, we'll take a look at that in just a second. Guys, welcome back, and uh, just to go over, and we'll uh, do a transition again over to there, and just to show you what it does look like when you go in through the download. Uh, now it has asked me, uh, with the music manager, it says, do you want to use iTunes, Windows Media Player, my, uh, you know, you could do it through other folders as well if you don't use any that I don't use, uh, I really don't use Windows Media Player. Uh, so, and then it's going to go through, it says, less than 10 songs found in the iTunes account, not a surprise. Um, I'm not a huge music listener as downloaded music, I usually use Spotify. Uh, upload, you could sit and then say the upload the songs, include the podcasts in the upload, and you could also do select songs if you want to, if you do want to do individual songs. And uh, do you want to automatically upload songs that you add to iTunes? Yes, I do. Now it's going to give me this, uh, Easy Access Manager. Sure, we'll go with it. I don't care, I'll probably delete it. Um, music Manager will continue trying to upload your music. Yes, go ahead. Your music is uploading. Well, that's uh, that's helpful. Uh, and then it pops up a little thing at the bottom of the screen, which you can't see. And it's taking me to Google Music, and it's like, okay, well, we've uploaded your songs that uh, you asked us to upload. You can't really notice it because there's just so many songs in here. It's unbelievable. So that that in the aspect, I think it's pretty cool, for, especially for if you have a lot of downloaded music. A lot of people aren't going for downloaded music. A lot of people don't, I mean, torrenting music is kind of out of it. I mean, if you really want to torrent music, you you know, you're going to. And there's no, there's no question about it. I, you know, telling you not to torrent music is not, not even useful to me. But um, definitely, uh, you will try and uh, you could just get it off of Spotify and uh, this recording really sucks. Something else I want to show you guys, which is actually, this is the biggest feature that is going to change how <laughs> what industries are taking power of music right now and it's going to change careers for a lot of people may even put people out of business I do not know but taking over to the page this is Google Music Artist Hub so if you are an artist Google is trying to draw you in <laughs> so and I'm not saying this is bad. This is this is insanely amazing, and you have no idea how awesome this is. Google is saying that if you're an artist and you don't have a record contract, that's fine. You don't need a record contract. You could just join Google Music, and you can upload all your music on there. You have your own page. You have your own artist page, and you can. Ease, and apparently you're supposed to be, supposedly supposed to easily be able to share your music with your Google uh, with your Google Plus. Now my question is is that are you going to be able to share it with your Google Plus page? I really think you're going to be able to, but if you have a band page on Google Plus, you I, I would think that would only make sense that you'd be able to share it with your Google Plus band page. So I think this is an amazing thing. You don't need a record contract anymore. You don't need to be uh, huge. You All you need is you need to start out on Google Music and advertise it everywhere. Let's. I'm not going to go through the full thing because if we go through the full thing, I will have to make an account and all that. So uh, find your artist page. That's one. Every solo artist and band on Google Music can have its own page. So, as I said, uh, you have to accept the terms and services. The terms and services, like I said, cost like 30 bucks, $25, 30 uh, to create this account to become an artist hub. And then there's also the uh, the publisher content, you know, get ready for set your music, upload, and original. Also, you make money off this. The artist, you are allowed to sell your music. So, potentially, it's basically the same thing as... Any uh, market, you'd be just without. You don't need the record. You don't need the uh, record deal. You, you're your own person. 
you you manage it. So it might be a little more stressful on you if you're like a small band and then you get to be a big band. You know, it might be a little more stressful because then you're doing it yourself. But that's what record labels are for. So they take care of it, not you. But this is huge. It, for This is going to be able to make it so small places, small bands can become big in that. All you got to do is share it and it, it can become huge. Depending on how many followers you have on your Google Plus page, you like I said, you can't share it. So I'm sure you could put it on Facebook as a link, and then um, they can go over there. Going back to the page, and we'll do a continue here. I don't know where it's going to take me. I haven't done this. Uh, find your artist page, and um, let's see. Find your uh, fans have to be able to find you. I want them to hear your music. Okay, so yeah, this is all this. This is about the artist page, and then uh, solo artist band name. And you could what it's gonna have you do is potentially search your band first, just to see if you're on there. And then I'm guessing they're gonna go through and they're gonna be like, oh, uh, that's fine then. Okay, go right ahead. I'm not gonna go past this point because then it's agreements and payments. But uh, yes, so like I said, potentially you can go through the process of setting up this page and putting all your music on there at the same time you're going to pay 25 to 30 dollars uh not sure if it will go up or go down in the future but uh you have to pay uh a lump sum which is like 25 30 dollars to go on to create this account and then once you've created the account you can go and you can sell your music for i'm sure as much as you want if you want to charge five dollars a song or whatever that's ridiculous but can do that but google does take a percentage they take like a 20 something percent uh profit from each song which they have the right to i mean they have every right to it's their servers that are hosting the music so they have every right to take a percentage out but i think 20 percent is a bit much even for google i mean especially for google because google's been known to be like oh we're the cheap guys you know we're the guys that are really for the people and we don't really need the money because we make all the money in advertising. So I think 20-something percent, 20 to 25 percent is a little much of their intake. So I really think they could go down to 10 percent if they really wanted to. But again, it's their servers they have the right to. And if you're a small band and you're just looking to get yourself out there, get your feet wet, then I definitely suggest you go and you make the page. And it's definitely worth it, even if you're going to get that cut. And... With this cut, people might actually charge more for their music just so they can make uh, that fair amount of money as well. So go ahead on over. Go to uh, music.google.com, and you can check it out for yourself. Like I said, I'm not exactly impressed. Uh, I can't find the sharing feature on there. There's supposed to be a sharing feature. You're supposed to be able to share all your music with Google+, Plus, and I, I'm having a hard time finding that. You're supposed to be able to share your albums and stuff like that. So uh, there's a lot of other ones out there. You can also check out Spotify. Spotify is one of my favorite, and there's um, Pandora Radio and all that out there. There's also, uh, I think, Instant.fm if they're up, and uh, you could check them out as well. There's a lot of them out there. It's just uh, finding the right one to work with you. Again, Google Music is all about the Android device, so if you're going to use Google Music, it's going to want it's going to sync to all your Android devices. So if you're a Google person then this is most likely the best one for you. But at the same time, uh, Pandora Radio has some amazing stuff, and it works on most platforms. Include, and I'm sure Google Music, actually the Google Music mobile version, uh, works actually really well on not just Android, but it works on any I, most iOSs, including iPad, uh, iPod. The mobile website for music.google.com is actually incredible. So... Head on over there, Google, uh, music.google.com. And don't forget to check us out, uh, Let's Talk Tech Show.com, where uh, we have all the links to all of our Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus pages. And also, you can, uh, if you have any input on this, you can go ahead and send us a email, Let's Talk Tech One at gmail.com. You can also join, like I said, you could uh, join our pages. Our, we have a Facebook page, Google Plus page. So if you join any one of those, we're all there. So go ahead and check us out, Let's Talk Tech show.com and again i am your host alan billings thanks for watching another episode of let's talk tech online